Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses in Ewin Plus with the most iconic weapon of From Software's games. The Dark Moon Greatsword is a very beautiful sword that is featured in multiple games of this company under a different name and with various light differences. I can't tell you much about how good or bad it is on games like Dark Souls or Bloodborne, but I can assure you that in Elden Ring, this weapon is one of the most broken weapons I have ever tried and I dare to say that for a huge number of players it is the best. The main feature of this Greatsword is its unique skill, Moonlight Greatsword, which is basically a unique weapon buff that coats the blade with additional magic damage and frostbite buildup, besides of enabling powerful projectiles that are released after performing heavy attacks. These projectiles are insanely powerful, they have a great range and a great amount of stance damage as well. In the same way, if you charge your attacks, the projectiles will deal a lot of more damage. The most interesting thing about this sword is that even though it has the same scale values on strength and dexterity, the weapon will deal more damage with dexterity and intelligence than with the strength and intelligence. For some reason, projectile related skills on Elden Ring will have a better scaling with dex, even over other stats with a supposedly better scaling. Today you will witness the true potential of this incredible legendary weapon. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will beat every major boss of the game without taking a single hit. We are going to be using the Dark Moon Greatsword on plus 10. I will use the Asus Glintstone staff but you can choose any other you have. We will use the Jellyfish Shield. Its unique skill Contagious Fury will boost our damage by 30 percent for a few seconds, and we need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. The best armor set for this build is the Spellblade set, that will boost our damage by a total of 8 percent if we wear the full set. The most effective talismans for this build are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Shard of Alexander, the Magic Scorpion Charm and the Godfrey Icon. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, the Magic Shrouding Crack Tear and the Greenspill Crystal Tear will be extremely powerful. However, the Spike Crack Tear and the Stone Barb Crack Tear are decent alternatives as well. This build works around heavy attacks, which leads it to consume a lot of stamina, so crafting some of these green bad boys is not a bad idea. In order to get the max performance of this build, we need 40 on vigor and 35 on endurance. We need a minimum of 20 points on strength, we have to level up dexterity and intelligence to 60 and fade to 33. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. Terra Magica is a very useful spell that will boost our magic damage by a lot. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. And the jellyfish pot. And the skull you want. Nice, this is perfect guys. I should have enough time now. Yeah, I do. Goodbye. <laughs> and here Terra Magica. Cast this and you go. <laughs> wow, bro. <laughs> In three hits, bro. Oh, poor guy. No. No! <laughs> I didn't expect that, bro. <laughs> What? What? Wow! <laughs> wow! Another two shot, bro. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, boy. <laughs> Wow, that's so weird. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. <laughs> nice, bro. It was perfect, man. The timing was so nice that we didn't interrupt the, the damage, man. Come on. Oh, nice. I'm being very lucky. Okay, again. Come on, Magica. And boom, baby. Let's go. Okay, and we should get close. Not that close. <laughs> Not too much. Boom. Boom. And boom. Wow! 
probably one of the fastest fire giant kills, guys. Definitely. Nice. Oh, nice. Boom. <laughs> it worked. It took a few tries, but we, we did it, guys. <laughs> and we use our buff now. No. Wow, that's a dodge. Nice. Stamina! <laughs> Nice! I ran out of stamina! <laughs> oh my god. The jellyfish stuff, and hopefully, we can reach her without getting hit. Okay, okay, this is cool. Oh my god, I lacked! I lacked a little bit! Oh! But not enough. <laughs> I lacked a little bit, bro! <laughs> Let's go! Fast, fast, fast. Okay, guys, he's, here is the buff routine. It's very simple. First, Golden Vow. Then, your Pickle Turtle Neck. Oh, yeah, it's optional, uh, of course. Then, your Physic. Now, the Weapon Buff lasts longer than Hall of Shabriri, so Weapon Buff or Weapon Art. Then, Hall of Shabriri. <coughs> then, you refill your FP. Then, Terra Magica. It's very simple. Then Contagious Fury, and you're ready to go. Wow, the damage is so stupid. Okay, now. Now we have projectiles, so you don't have to move from here. And the guy's down. Let's go, baby. It might work. He's not coming. Nah. Oh, maybe. I'm too far, though. Mm. I'm very low-key, bro! Oh! What?! <laughs> That's new, baby! That is new, bro! Wow! Okay, <laughs> Paul. Are you ready, buddy? Please be a good boy. Boom. No way! No way, it was a one-shot, baby! Yeah, this point is perfect, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm very lucky. Oh, and I got the melee part. What are you doing? It is over. Oh, it is over. <laughs> mm. Easy. The Dark Moon Greatsword, baby! Wow! <laughs> and I wait. Oh, this is very, very nice! <laughs> Boom! Get that one, bad boy! <laughs> oh! 
Oh, amazing, guys. This damage is crazy, bro. <laughs> Oh, nice. Crit hit, crit hit. We got it. Boom. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> This is beautiful, guys. Maybe? Hold on. I knew it. Almost. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Very close, baby. Holy. 